Coming up on TRS, we find out who won the summer movie wager. Is way late. Mm. We are aware, <laughs> but it is time for the results to the summer wager that we pitted. Correct. Yes, there's a crispness in the air. Fall has fallen. <laughs> to be fair, in LA, it's still summer. Yeah, <laughs> well, in LA, fall is bigger than summer this year. It was like 105. Exactly. Like never. 13, dude. The hottest not... LA day the... ever. Yeah, Speaking of hot, the heat was on this summer as the Tony <laughs> Ride Show. Uh, combined with your wits jets, Danny. <laughs> against the, sla the team slash film, Peter, Dave, Adam, and Russ, right? And division? Just, no, just Russ, just uh, Russ, Dave, and me. Just Russ, Dave, Because we had to do three. Three versus three. That's right. Yeah, three, three v three. Three v three. And uh, we made a wager based off of Time Travel Review's game of summer movie wagering where points are allotted per placement of your movie Correct. in the top ten. The closer 10. you get, the more you get. Bada -bada. You got Dark Horses. Yep. But they, that, the numbering system is key in who wins. This is Very a specific. game. This is not like just if yep. you pick the most in the yeah. top ten or whatever. It's a yep. game. Yeah. So let's go through and discuss how well movies. we did. So where, you guys remember where the pray tell, did MacGruber fall on the top ten? <laughs> Was it three or four? Hold on a second. <laughs> it's it's not on there. Still scrolling. MacGruber's still scrolling. We're not the So number one, MacGruber. the number one movie of the summer yeah. was Toy Story 3. Nailed it! Yes. Jeff I don't even remember the, my list. Jeff is the only person to uh, get that point. And I think that what I said at the time, which bared out as being true, is that universal appeal. Old, young, middle, everybody loves the Toy Story. Yeah. In, in our theory that Iron Man 2 was definitely gonna be number one. I, I remember saying that clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was totally wrong. Well, you were totally wrong. You were one wrong. Because it's <laughs> which, number two. Which in this game is totally wrong. <laughs> um, totally wrong. Yeah, so Iron Man 2 was number two. That's which, good. Mine you was know, pretty high. It's almost a hundred million dollars difference between one and two. That's crazy. Which is insane. And that's but, but how many points is that worth? hundred million. No points, but just how much more <laughs> right I was. Yeah. But what's weird is I feel like Iron Man two, number two biggest movie of the summer. I don't feel it right now. Well, that's because it was the first movie of the yeah. summer. Yeah. 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 And Iron Man two is kind of like, wait a minute, it's just a prequel to the Avengers. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> um, so number three. Twilight Eclipse. So, yeah. very powerful segment of the audience came out strong for that movie, yep. as we all kind of thought they would. Yeah, we all, we had, they, all they, had they, they voted there. with their training bras. Uh, not everyone had <laughs> 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 Alex had a number five. Alex had a number five. Uh, Jeff had a number two, so you were That's one off. Good, yeah. And Dan had a number six. Where did yeah. you have it? I had a number three. So dead, on dead on Peter. Nailed it. Dead on Peter. Here's the big deal. Number four was Inception. Yeah, now right. as right as I was about Toy Story, I got a mea culpa on Inception. I had that completely wrong. It's nowhere on my list, not even a dark horse, I don't think. And um, uh, is it on any of our lists? Is it on my list? It was, Dan believed in it. I believe it was a nine. Bit. I had it. it was nine on Alex's list. It was. Uh, you, Peter, you were the guy that kept saying well, you had seen it before, at that point. Yeah, also. that was the one tricky thing. But yeah, but you were the guy who said I put it in number money. six. You had a number yeah. six, and it's number four. But even I would—I remember saying I was like, I'm not sure about this one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's—is it gonna? It's, it's yeah. too smart. It was for, a dark horse for me. Yeah. It's yeah. such a complicated idea, and we all knew that. I think we didn't give the audience enough credit to. Come, yeah. You know. Also, it's number, its high up on the list with 200. It's high up on the list with not as much money as number four was last year or the year before, I don't right. think. I mean, that, you gotta you take that into consideration. Yeah. All of these, this whole list Scales is- Scaled down, yeah. Scaled down. Despicable Me is number five. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I Nowhere think, on any- No, 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 it was number 10 on both me and Jeff's list. Yeah. Wow. We knew that the $3 dollars and it being young kids skewed would-, yeah. would uh, But oh, we you were still- so, oh, you, you knew that? You knew, knew that? that? Oh, you tapped into that knowledge bank you had of it? Yeah. I don't yeah. know but we were still way off. It came out of somewhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, it seems like like the minions were like all over the place yeah, in the marketing, true, and it yeah. seemed like kids were just sold yeah. on those. I, just, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. Um, number six. This is the crazy thing. It's because me ranked higher than Shrek. Yeah. Wow. Shrek was really high on most of our lists. I think, except yeah. maybe 
yours. I don't. I think it's on there somewhere. But it's five. number it's five on my list. It was. Uh, it was three for me. I yeah. thought it was gonna be. Was three. it not even on my list? Me. Wait, it was number one on Alex's list. Uh, yeah. And it was number two on mine because <laughs> yeah. Shrek, Shrek, historically yeah. performs even better yeah. than the Pixar films. Yeah. So that was the crazy thing. Eek. So number seven on the list, Karate Kid. Shocker yeah. for me. Shocker. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Did, did, and Danny didn't I even believe. I could smell that movie, movie a mile Daniel away. Daniel with an L did not even believe in Karate Kid. I had it at number nine. Yeah, but I don't the, think anybody else. No, I, I, I no sure nobody. I put it as a dark horse. I had it as a dark horse. Number eight. This is the biggest shock for me, of the whole list. Sex this, in the City too. Well, this is no, no, we no believed in that. Yeah. <laughs> Grown Ups. Grown Ups. Yeah, I thought it flopped. Here's that, well, here's a, that's what's crazy about it. Yeah. Is that. Eight, nine, and ten are flops. Are kind of flops, not flops, not but but not, underperformed. Yeah, and they're in the top ten in the yeah. summer. Yeah, usually, because um, we were making this list, I was even criticizing you. I was like, you gotta realize, dude, number ten is still like a huge movie, and yeah. you can't put in those like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that. This, what was the total summer, on Grown Ups? One hundred and sixty point six million. So that's still whenever substantial. This, uh, yeah. Number nine, the last, the critically uh, barred, uh, last Airbender. But yeah, it still made a lot of money, it. though. We all thought it was going to be a much better yeah. movie than it was. Yeah. It made money. But definitely did not make enough money to, to get a second one, right? I mean, it, I think dude, that, it I made $131 million. That, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's kind yeah, but of what a lot for a fall But film. what did it cost? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. The budgets aren't on here. But, not sure. Yeah. Probably more than that. That's but, crazy. Um, but it probably made a lot worldwide. Who, who knows? I, I would agree with This is domestic. This is domestic. Yeah. Number 10, Salt. Salt. It made money because Angelina Jolie. So I mean, some actually, big, 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 big movies that aren't even on the top ten. Prince of Persia, yeah. which we all believe. I had, yeah. I had that huge on my list. I, I think it was, was my two. number two or something, yeah. or three. But, uh, there, I, have a, I have a list here. 18. Sex in the City, predicted by five of the six guys uh, in, yeah. in, the, in the contest, was not there. Unbelievable. Night and Day, predicted by four of the people, not also there. Shocked. Night and uh, Day, by the way, can I just say, I think that... I don't know what happened, but that I movie agree. did not track. It was great. I, I love that movie. I agree. We all. Love I still it. haven't seen it. Oh my god, it's, really it's so funny. funny. Yeah. It's so good. But some people have seen them and were like, "Oh, it was a torture." But I think that might just be like them <laughs> sort of yeah, listening salt to this. Did, what's interesting is Tom Cruise was supposed to be the star of Salt. Oh yeah, it was written right. For a man, he left that I think to do Night and Day. And, so, and and look at look at how yeah. that panned out. Crazy. Yeah. yeah but also, uh, A Team predicted by four of the uh, yeah. four yeah. of us not in it. Uh, Prince of Persia predicted by four not yeah. in it. Robin Hood. Oh, uh, was, I think that was my list. Mine, yeah. um, and Sorcerer's, Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yeah. And Sex and the City Two is a major shock as well. McGruber. The most inaccurate prediction was McGruber, <laughs> which Alex selected as number three. The which film it been. was a disastrous bomb at the box office, <laughs> making eight point five million dollars, and it's now it's now placed at number ninety. <laughs> oh, so the wait, top so, grosses. So the, the actual top number three grosses. movie. I love that they looked at that. The actual number three movie made three hundred million dollars, and it made eight million. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty close. I think DVD yeah, sales are going to be huge. Sales are gonna be huge. Yeah, so VOD, video on demand. You were only <laughs> so off. There's by, a lot of pie there. Like, by TFC two, deal on McGruber is going to be. Alex, yeah, you, you were only huge. off by two hundred ninety-two million dollars. I'm, I'm going to say McGruber two will clear that easily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That one yes is slash film right. <laughs> I think that is yeah, pretty yeah. obvious. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, mainly, and who was the individual uh, one? The individual winner was Peter with. Well, we we should say <clears throat> slash film had 113 or 112 points. Okay. okay. And how much? And Holy Ratcho? Ratcho had 87. So close. We got spanked. So close. We got spanked. We got spanked. And I'm not gonna point um, any fingers. I believe it was the <laughs> uh, no. I'm just gonna look a scale. Yeah, you, you know what? You this, this, the wrong finger. this is the most surprising thing. Who do you think on Totally Rad Show did the worst? I would have thought Alex, but I, I clearly like, I'm wrong. Just one movie, guys. I'm gonna go with well, not you know, me. Look, Alex's, for faith. Alex's list was the top three was Shrek. Uh, Twilight, I guess Twilight was was a good. Oh no no. Twilight was a good call. Oh sorry, so Shrek, Prince, Prince of Persia, Persia. Gruber. It's true. Not Iron Man two, Twilight, Toy Story. So who did the, the worst one? of all three? Who, who did the worst? Did it, it was actually Dan Trachtenberg with. Uh, Dan. He, wow. He got twenty four points. Twenty five points. Twenty four points. Of, yeah. And then so, what did Jeff? So do you have any? Do you have any? Do you have any? Uh, here's my. Here's my. Here's what I like to say. I don't think See, I the, failed the, at this at the summer list. 
I think the summer failed me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. But I, mean, I agree. Really? I mean, I mean who could have predicted this? Yeah, but this is what happened with his <laughs> list. He had, he had Prince of Persia at number four, Sex and City at number five, A Team at number eight, and Night and Day at number nine. All, not, all logical. Letters, letters all logical. I want, to, I want to talk about letters to Julia for a second because I remember you saying, <laughs> you guys, you could make even, it could be higher than ten. <laughs> Anyone's list, it may end up being higher than ten, is the First romantic comedy release of the summer. No one's counting on it here. It, it, I may be uh, stupid. We may be laughing at how it was so low on my list. Letters to Julia. I think, but I think this is a misstep, Dan. I, I, think, it may I, be a misstep. I think we'll be laughing, but not as <laughs> That's, That's why it's number 10. It was a gamble. It was a gamble. <laughs> you gambled with I, us, <laughs> sir. Okay, so um, top, top was Peter, Peter. With how many points? Um, I was at... Uh, where am I? 51, 51 points. Wow. To 20 to Dan. The, the, the 25. 25. You doubled Dan. <clears throat> wow. You doubled down, Dan. So, so, so I, yeah, really, I got going because they were nowhere on my list. Yeah. Peter was so far ahead of everybody else. Like, the next highest person was 36 points. So he did 20 more points than the next highest person. Wow. And I would like to say publicly that I beat David Chen. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, it's good. So now, now we face in a later segment we will face the consequences of having to consequences watch movies off of our list of shame. Yes, which well, those are pretty good. Is being compiled by our verses segment. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about chart. that. So well, thank you, Peter, for yeah. coming out again. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. And yeah. thank you, Slash Film. Thanks, Summer. We will get you next time. But now we'll be talking about some cool old movies that none of us have seen or some of us haven't. <laughs> Which opens wide mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, did yes. I say buried or buried? You buried. said buried. And you I just said a, a little hybrid, You just said right? open wide really weird. <laughs> <laughs> open wide. Which opens buried. I think being buried alive is probably mm -hmm. up there with one of my biggest fears. Girded of their loins. I mean, like, you, you really got to be. <laughs> You really gotta be. Would you a little claustrophobic? I'm a little claustrophobic. I was worried about that. It's a question you always ask everybody you meet. How girded of your loins <laughs> yeah. are you? And they, and me, they, I always wanted Halo to feel like those commercials. I think this feel. is the first Halo that feels like that. So I, I was like, bring back health packs. It's not bad. It's good because you're scared out of your gourd when you have red one bar. Yeah. You're like, I still have the shield, but I don't want to see the guy with the sword again. You know, it's sort of, it's In sort of universe. like art imitating life, imitating art, but it's all art. So it's art imitating <laughs> art, imitating art. <laughs> Um, it's TV imitating specific. movies, imitating TV, yeah, imitating movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's boobs. There's some boobs in this show. Let's be there honest. Are. All right. So you know HBO. I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> One Nucky Thompson. Nucky? Hilarity in the series. Yeah, Nucky. <laughs> no, I think that's a different. Uh, oh, that was a different HBO show. Different one. Oh, sorry. Hamlet Nucky. 